I saw a thing, actually, a study that said speaking in front of a crowd is considered the number one fear of the average person. I found that amazing. Number two was death. <laughs> death is number two? This means to the average person, if you have to be at a funeral, you would rather be in the casket than doing the eulogy. Social media is part of our everyday lives. You wake up and open Twitter. You eat breakfast and open Reddit. You watch YouTube all day. You go out and take pictures on Instagram. You come home and check out Tumblr. Or, or not. You go to bed, but not before checking Snapchat. It's impossible to exist in the modern age we are in without social media. Yet our generation, X and Y, cannot speak in real life. With so many outlets to voice our opinions while hiding behind the keyboard, we lost the capability to speak to a person face to face about the important stuff. As Jerry Seinfeld joked, we fear speaking in public more than death. That's no good. Humans are social beings, yet we have confined ourselves to various apps on our phone to speak. Due to this, our writing skills have declined. A study by Pew Research Center found that students in schooling right now have issues with their writing, according to teachers. 46% say social media makes students more likely to write too fast and be careless. 68% say that digital tools make students more likely, as opposed to less likely, or having no impact, to take shortcuts and not put effort in, into their writing. And 40% say today's digital technologies make students more likely to use poor spelling and grammar. Common issues with students right now is that they have an issue of deciding when and when not to use informal writing. Um, they prefer to speak in short messages, both writing and verbally, which is a problem because most official assignments are long form essays. And they also don't know how to cater to a specific audience. They, because of social media, you speak on social media and it goes to everyone. But in actual essays, you have to cater to a certain audience, especially in a persuasive essay. So teachers need to take more time. They have to be more patient and detailed in teaching the students how to learn and how to write. But the problem is social media gets in the way. And so this remedy isn't really working. And that is why up to 88% of class time is spent teaching the students about plagiarism, copyright use, uh, fair use, and citations. Because copy and pasting is the easiest way to take a shortcut. And that's what Twitter teaches us. It teaches us to screenshot an image and send it, or just copy a link and, send, and put it on Chrome and look for it. But that's not what we need in real life. An article by Anik Jestanun talks more about how students use informal writing in standardized exams. Teens who keep blogs or use social networking sites like Facebook or MySpace have a greater tendency to slip non-standard elements into assignments. Now the article is a bit dated, the MySpace reference, not even kids of these, this age will understand what that is, but the information stands true. Most teenagers have social networking. Does that mean everyone has the risk of using non-standard elements into assignments? Well, half the teens surveyed failed to use proper grammar and punctuation, and 64% have used informal elements in school assignments. Well, this means most of the next candidates for the workforce are going to be very internet reliant. They're probably going to have the mindset of being open, informal, and free. Well, this means if they weren't raised to be informal, don't expect that formality at first because they're going to be they're going to carry on that informality that they had from social media the whole time, and. If they use social media to converse the most, then don't expect them to share their ideas very openly in public speaking areas or in large groups. So it would be better behind an application because they're used to sharing things on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, or something like that. And so if there's ever an application in your workplace that has some kind of sharing ability like that, that's probably where they're going to be more comfortable in sharing their opinions and values. Because this generation is more better at the work-life balance, prioritization of tasks, and multitasking but they lack certain practices and values that the previous generations had. And in fact, companies are supporting uh, this generation for ha not having those practices. They're making services that kind of support using social media and using the internet a lot more than in-person conversation. Lately, every tech company wants to play a part in how we talk at work. Apple has collaborated with major partners in corporate to convince us that their products are good for work. Amazon has created Chime, which competes against Skype. Slack is the new informal yet formal instant messaging app for work. And Facebook has created Facebook Workplace. Google changed up Hangouts to work similarly to Slack. And Microsoft made Microsoft Teams. There are many more like this, but they all compare to Slack in the same way. 
Lately, it seems that all the tech giants have realized that the workforce is being led by the next generation and their lack of formal knowledge and formal writing. Yet, they know that this generation is strong with tech tools and internet applications. All these services are seamless between mobile and desktop, and for this generation, checking notifications from all of these services is probably easier than sitting at a conference table and taking notes. The funny part is, is that businesses are trying to remove social media from business, yet other companies are trying to promote social media for business by creating their own social media applications like Slack and Chime. So what is a teenager supposed to do when they're told that going on Facebook Messenger every day is making their writing worse, but then when they go to the workplace a few years later, they're going to be using Slack anyways? What should they do? And that is something businesses just have to accept, which is probably why Slack and Chime and Teams and all those applications are being promoted right now. These touch screens can make us lose touch.